The first dish we're going to do today is uh, roasted scallops with Cervain onion in varying forms, uh, peas and whipped buttermilk and smoked sausage. On the dish, uh, the first job we're going to get on is the Cervain onions to be roasted. They need to be slowly caramelised and then we're going to break those down into leaves. Uh, then we're going to start to cook the peas. Um, after that we're going to look at a nice hot pan, not, not smoking but nice and hot for the scallops, very gently seared um, and then we should turn those, give it a little bit on the underside, take them out um, and then we're going to build the dish up. The uh, first part of the process is to get the buttermilk on the plate. We want that on the bottom so that um, as you eat through the dish you get a mixture of all of the right flavours and condiments. Um, the second goes on the peas, uh, a piece of raised onion and um, a little bit of smoked sausage and we drop on the sorted scallop discs and then we finish that off with the, uh, some little bits of iced lettuce from Westlands and some onion juice. So there we have a roast of scallops with buttermilk, uh, Sven onion textures and fresh peas and malto sausage. So the second dish we're going to cook today is a black pudding royale with a slow cooked pheasant egg, apple tagliatelle, crude onion puree, pot popcorn and a little salad of uh, nasturtium and buckle salt. So, to cook the black pudding dish, we're going to lightly saute the already steamed black pudding and a little bit of foam butter through the oven. Uh, we'll take that out, we'll let that rest, we'll let the heat go through gently so it don't affect the texture. And we're going to um, crack open the pheasant egg onto the top, on top of the apple tagliatelle. I'm going to dust that with uh, the pork popcorn and then we're just going to finish it off with the salad and the crude new puree. So going first on the plate is the, uh, the black pudding royale. On top of there we're going to have um, the apple tagliatelle. We uh, slowly cut pheasant egg. Um, then we're going to put on the crude onion puree. And then on top we're going to have a little salad of the Westlands nasturtium and butter sole. And as you can see on the plate there, we've got the black pudding royale with the slow cut pheasant egg, apple tagatelli, crude onion puree, and the Westlands nasturtium salad. Buckler. So the dessert we're going to do today is going to be. Uh, Strawberry English strawberry cheesecake, uh, caramelised white chocolate cannelloni, and a garden rhubarb sorbet. So, we're plating the cheesecake today. First thing, obviously, is going to be the cheesecake. Um, it's a bit inverted this one, so we put the we put the base on the top, not the bottom, and you eat through, so it's a little bit lighter. Uh, there's a little strawberry compote inside that you can't see, but we can take that off on the plate. We've got to fill up the caramelised cannelloni. We make the cannelloni out of uh, strawberry juice into a crispy cannelloni, and we fill that with caramelised white chocolate a little bit of cheesecake, that sits on top. We've got some fresh English strawberries, quenelle of the uh, garden rhubarb sorbet, and then we just finish it off with some nice Westlands lemon sorrel. So here we have the dessert, which is uh, English strawberry cheesecake, caramelized white chocolate, cannelloni, garden rhubarb sorbet, and a little bit of Westlands lemon sorrel.